Today's agenda around sustainable development and fundamental rights are at the heart of my work as a Commissioner for International Partnerships. I work with our 126 partner countries around the world. We see together sustainable solutions for resilient and prosperous societies. Ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 is a threat also to our democracies. We are seeing a rise in autocratic and centralist government, inequalities, misinformation and digital surveillance. So yes, we must act decisively to stop COVID-19 destroying our lives and our livelihoods. But we must also ensure that those actions do not erode the basic rights and freedoms. Defeating the pandemic and delivering a global sustainable recovery requires a global response. The EU, its member states and its financing institutions are together Team Europe. We have built a package of support for our partner countries worth 38.5 billion euros. Part of the package is the global monitor providing data on the pandemic's impact on democracy and human rights in over 160 countries. With the new neighborhood development and international cooperation instrument, our international partnerships will go from strength to strength. We will combine our tried and tested policies with innovative approaches. We will continue pursuing our main aim of poverty eradication. At the same time, we will do more with guarantees and blending to leverage private sector funds and maximize development impact. And we will align our activities with our broader political priorities of climate, digitalization, jobs and growth and democracy. Respect for human rights and promotion of gender equality will run through across all our programs and investment modalities. This last priority underpins the EU Central Asia strategy we adopted last year. It is reflected in initiatives like our regional rule of law program. This promotes standards, transparency, action against economic gripe and public administration's capacity in five countries. Another example is our regional border management program in Central Asia. It is led by the State Border Guard of Latvia. We are due to bring Afghanistan into the program soon. We believe this will boost long-term security and stability across the region. Dear friends, this belief in full engagement is a reality with our closest neighbours in the Western Balkans. Their future belongs in the European Union. Their stability is our stability. We are also a key economic and political partner to our neighbours to the east and across the Mediterranean. In short, the European Union will stand shoulder to shoulder with its neighbours and its partner countries worldwide. We will together build a peaceful, sustainable, secure, stable and prosperous world for us all to live in. Thank you.